What's going on, Toxic Gamers? Today we got a whole lot of PlayStation 5 versus PS5 Pro gameplay graphics comparison. People are shaking, man. People are excited as, as a hill. We also got Xbox versus PS5 versus PS5 Pro. We're gonna see which one is worth it, which one is not. Like the video if you love your mama. Dislike the video if you love PS5 Pro more than your mama. Bruh. Come on, guys. Don't be doing that crap, right? But I want to show you guys this, and then we're gonna jump into the gameplay graphics comparison. Now, to give you, like, a little tease, on PS5, the frame rate for Spider-Man 2 is 47, but on PS5 Pro, it's... 52 and if you're gonna do fidelity pro it is 49 so two more fps five more fps we're gonna get down to it and of course we got the xbox versus ps5 as well but we're gonna we're gonna get down to it but shout out to the homie uh dreamcast guy roll it with those it. optimal optional tiny upgrades yeah wait this for sounds it. like a very tiny upgrade it does at least without a microscope and a whole kit but I'm going to be getting a PlayStation 5 Pro here in okay. a bit. It's going to be delivered today. I think around, okay. well, I don't want to say what time, but I am having a PlayStation 5 Pro delivered today. Uh, big, gigantic thank you to my girlfriend. She mm -hmm. bought my PlayStation 5 off me for $500. So I only had to pay $200 for a PlayStation 5 Pro. So uh, thank you, baby. You're a queen. She's never really played PlayStation 5 ever in her life. She's never played any PlayStation. So she's going to buy my PlayStation 5. Uh, I'm getting the Pro so we can play. He sold his PS5 to his, uh, to, to his girlfriend for full price. For five hundred dollars, <laughs> and if you're not catching it, if you're not understanding why I'm saying it this way, is because the new PS5, when it came out four years ago, back in yeah, it's been four, four years, guys. Let that sink in. Back in 2020, in November, right? Shit, yeah, right. It's been four years. When it first came out, the price for a new PS5 four years ago was also four hundred dollars. So he sold the PS5 to his girlfriend for $500. Now, of course, like, you know, people are going crazy in the comment section. We're going to get to the Xbox versus gameplay as well. Wait for it, guys. People going crazy. Bros are villain for selling used PS5 for retail price. Lol. Imagine that's a chick by the looks of it. So like, imagine being a YouTuber with 240k subs and shaking your girlfriend down for $500 so you can get a PS5 Pro. Dreamcast guy is ruthless, diabolical work. I would say he a G. He is a G. He's a G, man. You know, if I got something, if you watching this video, you got something that's used that you want to sell, you need the homies Dreamcast guy advice, guys. You need his advice. He's going to make sure you get every single penny. You know, I got to salute to Captain uh, Dreamcast guy, man. Salute to Captain Dreamcast guy, man. Crazy guy, crazy light. Right, let's get back to this one, and then we're going to jump into something else. I want to show you guys this. So re we got reviews coming out as well, and surely we're going to we're doing gameplay side-by-side -side comparison. This is from L and Alista de Bits. Shout out to him. Really quickly, like you're looking at it. So PS5, 65 frame rate. PS5 Pro, 66. <laughs> what the what the hell what is it this is performance and this is performance pro of course 120 hertz vrr is on on both graphically it's almost the same it feels like that the darkers are more dark so they got a little bit of more contrast happening insane right and of course we're gonna compare it with the xbox as well and we're gonna find out but check this wait for this one guys this is important uh this is important okay roll it it's the fact that, okay, yes, this is technically the most powerful PlayStation of all time, but it's also the most expensive PlayStation of all time. I mean, mm. in some parts of the world, some fans sent me screenshots of where my, what this costs in your country. I've seen in some places this costs like yeah. $1,200. Damn. Cr crazy, damn. crazy prices that just boggle the mind. So uh, How many of you guys bought it? If you bought it, that's fair, though. Like, that's your money. So if you bought it, my question to you is that, did you buy PS5 Pro uh, after selling your PS5 normal, the base PS5? Or you didn't have that, you just simply upgraded? Like, let me know. If you had the normal PS5, did you sell that? And if you sold it, for how much did you sell? I guess you know the answer. Dreamcast guy sold it for 500 to his girlfriend, man. So, if you sold it for less than that, guys, trust me, man. I'm not gonna clown on anybody, man. Trust me, I get it, man. Even if I were to sell my normal PS5, I guess... Uh, Sick is not gonna take it for 500, right? So I'm the same as you. Let me know if you sold it or not. And you're seeing the PS5, PS5 Pro, PS5 Fidelity. And this is PS5 Performance. Okay. Let's do like a quick little ride. Fidelity Pro. What? 
almost it feels like that it was a little blurry here, right? A little blurry on normal PS5 or PS5 Pro. What? Not that big of a difference, right? But we're gonna get back to it. $700 here in America, is it worth it? Now, I like the way he starts with this. He says, I think I can answer that, but first you need to find a measuring tape. Find your mm. favorite seat in front of the TV, then measure the distance between your heads and the screen. Now measure the screen diagonally. If you own a 65 inch or a 55 inch, which are the most popular TV sizes, do you sit 10 feet away? Then no. The mm. PlayStation 5 Pro is probably not worth $700. Not even if you have 2020 oh. vision like me, the improved visual fidelity just isn't Damn. tangible. So it's crazy that now the official reviews we're talking about like the big review channels, right? They are saying this that if you if you don't now, have like a big TV like 65 inch or 55 inch, I personally came on a monitor, right? A 24 inch monitor. So for a guy like me, I'm not gonna notice any difference if I buy, right? Mm, they're saying that if you have a big ass TV, 65 or 55 inch, then maybe, right? Do you sit 10 feet away or more? Then no. Shit. So maybe even on 65 inch, it's not... Yeah, even on that, it's not that big of a difference. Crazy. This to me is uh, is not great. <laughs> maybe I'm being overly pessimistic, but when I review not games... Realistic. It's not realistic. Uh, that's not being pessimistic. That's uh, being realistic. It's good to let tell people the truth, man. Now, again, like, if you're liking, if you bought PS5 Pro and you're liking it, that's good on you, man. That's awesome. That is amazing. But we're being realistic here. Let's be, let's be real about it, right? If GTA 6 comes out, and when it comes out, and if it's better on PS5 Pro, even I'm looking to buy PS5 Pro. Even I'm looking to buy it, right? So it's, it's just about, like, if the upgrade is worth it or not. Let me know for how much uh, PS5 Pro is in your country. For me, it is literally 1200 It is 1200 Canadian. <laughs> on a big TV. I, I kind of have this little spot right here. I've got my monitors for recording this uh, screen. I've got the screen I read from, and then I've got my review TV. And my review TV is a 41 inch. And it's 4K, it's 120 Hertz, it's really good. But this is where I do about 85% of all of my gaming. So the fact that they're straight up saying that if you do not have over Crazy. a 65 inch, if you're not close to the TV, you're not even gonna notice the difference. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's not the wild. best, but let's actually... That is wild. Okay, now let's actually just talk raw gameplay as well. And we can get back to the, the review in a second as well. I wanted to throw that in. And of course, I wanted to throw the the actual like fact that he sold his PS5 Pro to his girlfriend for $500. Could you imagine? I uh, Fidelity? Not that big of a difference, man. Normal PS5 looks, in some instances, better textures-wise. Now, I get it. I get it, like, we're, you're watching a YouTube video. I'm also watching this on a YouTube video. I 110% get that part, guys. Uh, for sure, there's gonna be compression. But, guys, we're in the year 20... It's almost 2025. Maybe you're watching this in 2050 or some crap like that. And if you are, let us know if GTA 6 came out or not. Guys, listen. Co uh, yes, compression exists on YouTube. Resolution-wise. But it's still not... A big deal even then okay we're to 2025 man it's not a big deal but okay forget about the resolution for a second we're strictly looking at the texture quality which is still visible we can you know compare normal ps5 to ps5 pro we got side by side comparison right we can look at that and it doesn't look that good and in some instances like this is pro it's looking a little off in comparison to normal PS5. It's just how is how is that even possible? And for FPS count to compare the frame per uh, frame rate, we don't need to see the video in like 8K quality or crazy good quality, right? Basically, it's the numbers. It's the math game, right? So two FPS more, five FPS more. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and you're paying $700 USD or 1200 Canadian if you want disk drive, uh, of course, alongside it, taxes and currency exchange. Crazy, man. Damn. Like, look at that. So this is normal PS5 Fidelity performance. This is Fidelity Pro. I mean, I, I prefer the normal Fidelity here. <laughs> the tree feels uh, like right here. It feels like that it's a lot more sharper here. It looks blurry, at least the middle part, right? Right, guys? Even the performance looks better than the PS5 Pro Fidelity. How is that even possible? Shit, man. Like, what is... What's up? The water is looking plasticky here in the PS5 Pro performance here. Of course, it's almost similar, but... You see, uh... You, it doesn't feel too plasticky in comparison to this one. Man. 
What is up? And I also do want to compare Xbox version in a second too. So this is a really good... Uh, okay, tiny, they added a little bit of sharpness. That's what I was saying. Uh, you, you might just want to like increase the sharpness on your monitor or on your TV to feel like you're playing on PS5 uh, or PlayStation 6. <laughs> Absolute diabolical, man. <laughs> Absolute diabolical. Okay, right here, just it do be looking a little better. It do be looking better. Now, again, this is this video is not about like, hey, PS5 or PS5 Pro looking bad as is. Nah, man, these consoles looking very good. Games looking amazing. It's nothing to do with the game. The game is amazing graphically, right? And both PS5 and PS5 Pro, they're looking very good. They're very close to PC level of graphics. That's but but we're just comparing. PS5 versus PS5 Pro, based off of the pricing and all that, right? Y you know what I mean, right? And it's wild to me that not only that you don't even see any difference in PS5 and PS5 Pro fidelity, but it's still 30 FPS, even in fidelity. Then what's the point? Then what's the point? Yes, we got performance, but again, guys, like you got performance even on the normal PS5. Then what's the point of getting this? It it it's ludicrous, man. It is ludicrous. At least the PS4 Pro was... A decent upgrade and I remember getting PS4 Pro and a lot of people ended up getting the PS4 Pro because the upgrade was meaningful yeah people did see the upgrade it felt like there was an upgrade that's why I didn't see anybody complain even I got it because yeah bro like the comparison <laughs> yeah we did see like massive difference or not massive massive but we, we, in comparison to this we saw a massive difference man uh, and of course on the pro performance okay let me actually just skip it to like this part here or it's coming, it's coming. We're gonna see five more FPS. Oh, you guys ready for the five more FPS? Oh man, this thing is crazy as hell. <laughs> How is that even possible, man? 60, uh, and it's, ah, 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 whoa, whoa, chill, man. It's dipping down. On the PS5 Pro, it dipped down. Okay, uh, even here, okay, four. It, but that's crazy that, of course, kind of joking around, but yeah, one or two frame dipping, that's fine though. But to have just like two and or two or five extra frames in comparison to PS5. What are we talking, man? That is crazy. <coughs> let's actually jump to this one. This is where it happened, right? It happened live. So let's pause it. Let's actually let that sink in. PS5 Fidelity, 45. It was it's jumping between 45 47, right? Uh PS5 Pro. 47 there we go it was at 49 earlier and this is 52 crazy man <laughs> <laughs> and make no mistake guys i have ps5 i don't have xbox i got a solid pc i'm not a sony pony i'm not an xbox andy what fa I, I I, I, what facts are facts simple as that okay simple as that let's not be emotional about it let's be objective about it guys most of you guys are objective, but some, of course, some people are definitely very, very emotional with it. I'm assuming people would be emotional if you if they purchase, they want to defend it. And if you purchase, that that's cool, though. Like, the, it, the, this video is none about that. Uh, there is, uh, nah, man, it's nothing against you if you bought it. Hey, that's cool, man, that's cool. You Maybe you didn't have PS5. <laughs> or maybe you did and you sold it and then you were like, okay, you know, I'm just going to add 300 more, 400 more. Dreamcast guy only added 200 more because he sold uh, PS5, his PS5, four years old PS5 to his girlfriend for 500. That man is a G. No matter what you guys say, that man is a G. He cares. He cares about uh, what's this called? He wanted all his pennies, right? I man, respect, respect, bro, respect, <laughs> respect, man, respect. So five extra frames. In some instances, it's very close, like it becomes like same in oh my goodness i saw in some instances let's do this man i swear to god i saw it live i saw it live ah 63 64 i saw it i saw where this one ps5 was 66 and ps5 pro was 62 how is that say say psych right now okay both of them are equal right now 63 62 oh shit, oh shit. so ps5 is performing better oh my goodness bro oh my Oh my goodness, man. I even saw 66. Okay, right now it's 64, 62. I saw 66. 65, 63. 64, 63. You get the point, right? But like... Man. Shit, bro. 
So it's basically the same. Holy crap. Okay, let's jump to this one here. So Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X, PS5, and PS5 Pro. I guess Series S makes sense, right? 900p because that's like a smaller console. Price-wise and console-wise as well. Makes sense, makes sense, right? But let's see which one is better. Yeah, it's about the textures. Because resolution-wise, for sure. So you got the rain. Ooh, on the Series X, the rain. Normal PS5. Yeah, makes sense. PS5, Series X would almost be similar. Makes sense, makes sense. PS5 Pro. The same game. Texture-wise, it's the same game. So if you're playing it on Series X or PS5, that's the best version. I mean, PS5 Pro, arguably better. But we're not seeing it. Series S, of course, they cut the rain because the console is... Uh, 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 Specs-wise, it's less. It's inferior. Yeah, like, nobody's doubting that, so... Yeah, man, my console peasant eyes cannot notice anything. <laughs> oh my god, man. I'm assuming PS5 Pro will win because of the... Yeah, and then PS5. But what are you gonna do with one extra second? Now in GTA 6 it's gonna be very uh, better. It, I, I think in G yeah that's the thing in GTA 6 it will be good because you're gonna be able to render the world faster. So in this one I gotta give it to PS5 and already we're hearing that PS5 got the deal for Rockstar or Rockstar and PS5 they're having a deal with GTA 6 specifically PS5 Pro. Makes sense. All, all right. Yeah. What's true is true, right, guys? Like so on this one I gotta give it. I guess uh, till GTA 6 comes out on PC, it's gonna be the PS5 Pro is gonna be the best place to play GTA 6 on. Maybe we're gonna find out already because of the SSD boost that we're getting in PS5 Pro. Mm. So yeah, it's gonna render the draw distance should be better on PS5 Pro. It should be, but it's hard to see in this instance. In this game but i guess for gta 6 we're probably gonna be able to and yeah by the time gta 6 comes out we're we're gonna have ps5 pro for a solid year so i think behind the scenes they're working on a ps5 pro special patch for uh for gta 6 i'm assuming that i mean i'm trying to be optimistic but let's be real like all of what we're seeing right now this does not leave me in an optimistic state it's the same game bro Holy crap, even on the Series S, like, quality mode, it's 60 FPS. PS5 Pro. PS5 Pro should should not even dip one frame. I, I get it, like, one frame, two frame, dipping, sometimes even five frame. That's understandable. But I'm just saying, like, if it's gonna be 60 FPS on Series S, it should not even dip a single. We shouldn't even see a single frame dip on PS5 Pro. But that's not realistic, I know that. But I'm just, you know, joking around with when I say that. But it's still funny. It's still funny. It should be 120 FPS on PS5 Pro. It should be 120 FPS. Now, I'm happy with 1080 60 FPS. But I'm just saying, like, if you're getting PS5 Pro and you're not seeing any graphical upgrade. If you're not seeing any graphical upgrade, then what's the reason? I guess frame rate can be the reason. Faster load times, which we saw. Okay, one second <laughs> fast. Okay, okay, okay. It's a W, it's a positive, so let's uh, keep it uh, real. It should have more than that. Let's actually see this game. So we got Silent Hill 2. Beat fire though. PS5 quality. Performance. Just less contrasty. Ooh. Okay, let's pause this for a second. Let's see which one is better. So you got this, this, this. Okay, so I'm gonna compare PS5 Pro quality with PS5 quality, first of all. I would say, yeah, darker. It's a lot, uh, PS5 Pro is a little bit more darker. So contrast, let's compare performance with performance. Yeah, same. It's looking the same, like this one and this one, same. 60 FPS, dynamic, 1440p, 30, 1440p, 30. Then what's the, what? upscale with PSSR <laughs> man so what's the reason like this should already quality mode should be 60 
There should be no performance mode on PS5 Pro. There should only be quality mode at 60 FPS. Or add performance but at 120 FPS. Or 90, 100 FPS, something like that. Oh, this is daytime robbery. This is highway robbery, guys. Highway robbery, fellas. So you're seeing side by side? Just a little, more, a little bit more contrast. A little sharper. I see a little sharp. A little sharpness. Ooh. But you can literally sharpen all your... Uh, you can increase sharpness on your monitor and your TV and... It's bumbleclad after that. Guys, check out this video on the screen. We recently had massive leaks for GTA 6, GTA 6 Trailer 2 as well. A whole lot of information about GTA 6 that came out recently. Check out this video on the screen and I'll see you right there.